today we will learn some important concepts related to percentages fractions and decimals many times we come across situations where we need to convert percent into fraction or decimal and vice versa let's understand these conversions suppose dinesh ramesh and rahul gathered some flowers together out of the total flowers if 2/5 part is gathered by dinesh 7 by 20th part by ramesh and 1/4 by rahul can you tell who collected more flowers can you tell us how to do this think for a while you got it right here we need to compare 2 by 5 7 by 20 and 1 by 4 we can find the answer by comparing fractions but we will make use of percentages here in the previous video we have understood the concept of percentage can you tell what is meant by percentage think for a while you are right percentage is the numerator of a fraction whose denominator is 100 to represent percentage we use this sign which means 1 by 100 now let's find the percentage of 2 by 5 7 by 20 and 1 by 4 if we want to represent a fraction in percentage form then first we have to find its equivalent fraction whose denominator is 100 now can you tell how will you express 2 by 5 in percentage think for a while Let me tell you to convert any fraction into percentage we multiply it by 100 by 100 that is by 100% this means percentage of flowers collected by dinesh is equal to 2 by 5 into 100 by 100 which is equal to 2 by 5 into 100% which is equal to 40% similarly we can say that percentage of flowers collected by ramesh is equal to 7 by 20 into 100% which is equal to 35% and rahul collected 1 by 4 into 100% which is equal to 25% by comparing percentages we can say that maximum flowers is equal to 40% collected by dinesh till now we have learned the conversion of fractions into percentages sometimes it is necessary to convert percentage into fraction now consider 25% of the cake is eaten by vipul then what part of the cake has he eaten in order to find this we need to convert 25% into fraction till now we have learned to convert fractions into percentages if you take the complete part of a whole how will you express it in percentage think for a while You've got it right. A complete part of a whole will be hundred percent. If we consider half of its part, then half of hundred percent will be fifty percent. Similarly, if we consider half of this half part, that is one fourth part, then it will be fifty percent. That is twenty five percent. So twenty five percent is equal to one by four. Therefore. we can say that vipul has eaten one fourth part of the cake in mathematics to convert percentage into fractions we use 1 by 100 in the place of percentage then we will express the obtained fraction in its simplest form here part of the cake eaten by vipul is equal to 25% which is equal to 25 into 1 by 100 which is equal to 25 by 100 which is equal to 1 by 4 similarly remaining part of the cake is equal to 100% minus 25% which is equal to 75% that is 75 by 100 or 3 by 4 so to express percentage in fraction first we will find the value of percentage then express it in the form of the corresponding fraction Now let's learn the conversion of decimal to percent and vice versa. Suppose we have to express 0.546 in percentage. Just as we multiplied 100% to convert a fraction into percentage, in the same way 
we will multiply decimal numbers with 100% to convert into percentage. So, 0.546 is equal to 0.546 into 100%, which is equal to 54.6%. Similarly, we can write 1.75 as 1.75 into 100%, which is equal to 175%. In both situations, we can see that the percent has the same numbers as in decimal number, only the decimal point is moved to the right. In general, we can say that to obtain percentage of any decimal number, move the decimal point two positions towards the right. With this understanding, can you tell the method to convert percentage into decimal? Think for a while. You've got it right. If we want to express a percentage into decimal, then in the place of percentage, we will write 1 by 100. That means, we will divide the percent by 100. Here, 75% is equal to 75 by 100. That means 75 out of 100, which is equal to 0.75. In general form, we can say, to convert percent into decimal, we move the decimal point two positions towards the left. Today, we have learnt to express any fraction into percentage, the fraction is multiplied by 100%. To express decimal into percent, the decimal point is moved two positions towards the right and on the contrary, to convert percent into decimal, the decimal point is moved two positions towards the left. In the next video, we will learn to find percent to number and ratio to percent.